Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry with JR from Bell Lost Souls, and today we've got some Blackstone Fortress Whoa. goodies uh, for Warhammer Quest, obviously. These um, are all part of the Abominable Intellect releases, uh, which, which is the, the cards right here, but then you also have the two boxes of all the enemies from the first two uh, expansions. Yeah, this is actually really exciting because you get to double up on the miniatures uh, for Blackstone Fortress by picking these boxes up. So, for some reason, you, you needed more Servants of the Abyss? You can do that, that. That would be the reason. This right is the there. reason. That's actually. the reason you need more servants of the or abyss. cultists of the abyss. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here's the deck for the abominable intellect, and this is kind of the uh, the reason that you need these extra boxes now. Each one of these adds uh, a special twist and extra enemies to all of the existing encounters that are in the uh, Blackstone Fortress base game, as well as the Escalation expansion, which just came out uh, like a month or so ago. Yep. Uh, and these are all pretty much encounter cards. Yep. So we're not going to go through each one. No. But this is the reason why. E each one just <laughs> makes it harder. Uh, they, they add a fun twist. They add more enemies. Uh, yep. So, like, you might be fighting a, a bunch of rogue psychers and have dulled reflexes the whole time so yeah. you fire worse at overwatch or maybe you have catastrophically bad luck while you're fighting these chaos space <laughs> marines but uh, you get the idea it's a bunch of encounters that's why you need all the extra miniatures yeah. it's because of the abominable full intellect servants of the abyss this expansion box sort of this is all the bad guys <laughs> from the from the base set yeah uh you've got your traitor guard your uh uh chaos marines beastmen rogue, rogue psychers everyone negavolt cultists which i really like this set i really like this whole set of enemies yeah uh, it's cool that games workshop is actually releasing them in their own thing and there's a lot of stuff rattling around here there is you know uh looking at these uh this set wow Wow, that's all just like one yep. big sprue. That's incredible. This is the same sprue from the boxed set. That's why. Get out of there, bases. Okay, bases. We've got, we got those bases. covered, right? Cool. Yeah, uh, we covered all of them. Covered all the bases. Bingo. Here's the instructions, very similar to the one you got in Blackstone Fortress uh, to the for the assembly guy there. No shocks. We've seen this before. Yeah. Unless you're using the Negavolts, then they do shock. They, they do shock you. Uh, let's take a closer look at the sprue. Again... This is not a huge surprise for anybody that's played Blackstone Fortress. These models are super rad. They are super rad. You get you get uh, Urghuls, cultists, the new spindle drones. Mm -hmm. You know, looking at the like rogues gallery here, it, it reminds me a lot of like a Destiny Two level kind of a thing. You know, <laughs> where you're fighting like a bunch Multiple of different factions guys, yeah. of bad guys who all kind of are at war with each other, and you got ancient yeah. robots that are probably magic. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I space mean, magic, man. Yeah, exactly. Space yeah. magic. I really dig the Trader Guardsmen. Uh, I think those are some of their coolest models they've done, especially because they're Trader Guardsmen, so they have that Guardsman aesthetic, but look slightly evil. Plus, you know, Beastmen. I'm, I'm hoping, yeah. fingers crossed, that one day these will all become like their own the, faction separate or right? like, something that you could do. I, I mean, I could I could see yeah. like the Abyss rising as a part of the yeah. response to the Psychic Awakening. I mean, that's a possibility. We'll Ooh, find out. But uh, for right now, Servants of the Abyss, that's this box right here. And uh, it's doubling up the bad guys from Black Sand Fortress. Now let's take a look at the brand new Cultist of the Abyss. Here are the Cultists of the Abyss. Yeah, let us take a look at these guys. They are the bad guys from the Escalation expansion. Uh, you can see you've got the uh, Cultists of the Abyss and the Cultist Firebrand who leads them all. Uh, these Cultists are particularly nasty because they not only have the standard terrible auto guns that don't really do anything, uh, <laughs> but they also have a, uh, a, a grenade launcher and heavy stubber, which will absolutely end you, especially if they get up close. And the Cultists overwhelm you with numbers uh, yes. I've I've seen these encounters run I, I have fought through one of them myself it's uh it's no joke folks you you think that you've got it handled yeah. you and think then you just the most occultist but you also happen to be wearing a t-shirt so pretty much here's another thing here's the bases no big shock there here's the firebrand cultist we'll come back to that model uh, we've seen these before as well. Yeah. Here's the instructions. Again, no big shock all in color ready to rock and roll there's your there's your cultist you can yeah. see the heavy yeah we're going to focus on this one first. What were you saying? There's a heavy Heavy stubber, stubber yeah. right there. Uh, grenade launchers over there. Uh, they will mess you up. They will. They will They will end yeah. your good day. I like these miniatures as well because it's a different take on the classic Chaos cultists. 
Uh, they definitely look like they are part of a cult altogether. Yeah, they, they look yeah. like they belong in the same club, you Almost know? Almost like a gang. Like, yeah. I feel like they would fit just as well on Necromoon as they do on Blackstone Fortress. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. So, it's a pretty cool little set. Matter of fact, here's the, uh, the, the big flamer bro himself. Firebrand. The Firebrand. Uh, this is a cool model. Yes. Uh, he reminds me of, like, uh, an elephant. With a flamethrower. Oh, I could see that. Yeah, I could see the the elephant with a flamethrower yeah. aesthetic there. He's got the two giant tusks. He's got the kind of armored backplate carapace. I know it's probably not ele elephant tusks. But I mean, if you look carefully, you can see uh, a little tiny Legolas swinging from the that's true. rigging. Is that what that is? That what, that's not rigging here. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> that's his hose for his flamethrower, man. Oh, or or his uh, chaos medallion, so yeah. that you know that he he's cool. You know which crew he runs with. So, but it's a pretty cool model. This is a overall pretty cool. Right, set. That was the Blackstone Fortress releases for Warhammer Quest. Uh, pretty great stuff. Again, if you're uh, looking to expand the baddies, if you want to up the challenge. Heck yeah. That's what the Adom Abominable Intellect's for. It will turn the difficulty up to 11. 11 so, uh check out these two uh, boxes and get the new cards today. Yep. In the meantime, I'm JR. I'm Adam here. We're both from the Bell of Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. to subscribe check out more videos and thanks for watching